Well, howdy there folks. This is your host, Nighty Jester. Thanks for checking out my video. And once again, we are playing Baseball Mogul 2016 edition. But we're going back. We're going way, way, way back to May 11th. Actually, yep, May 11th, 1976. This is a very interesting schedule that Detroit has simulated here in our baseball mogul game. You see we're away, home for three, away for four, home for three, away for three, home for three, away for three, home for three, away for three. So anyways, we're going to be playing Detroit Tigers at home against the Baltimore Orioles. And we will start Jack Morris today. And there's our starting lineup. We'll look at that here in just a second. Um, hmm. Yep, that sounds good. All right, so starting today is Jack Morris, as we just talked about. We have the Orioles lineup. Bobby Gurich. Righty. At second base. And we have Harper at left field. May at first base. Jackson in right field, Singleton is a DH, DeCensis is third base, Hendricks is catching, Davis is the center field, and Bellinger the shortstop. And let's see how Jack Morris does in his start today. Pop fly and caught 241 feet out by the right fielder there. One out. That's hit back up the middle for a base hit. Harper makes it to first. He's, first, he's got some pretty good speed there. So, all right. Oh, and after the pitch, we have a strong throw from Hendricks. Gets out the runner, caught stealing. Excellent. And that's hit into deep center field and caught for the out. All right, so hitting first today is the shortstop, Chuck Shervener. Let's see how he does here. He's batting uh, 188 against right-handed pitching. We've got a hold of that one, but caught in center field. Next up, lefty here, Rusty Staub. He's batting 302. He's popped that up in the infield here. And that's going to be a fly out. Ben Ogilvie, left fielder today. Oh, he's crushed that one out to deep center. Is it going to be caught? And no, it's going to be a home run by Ogilvy. Left fielder comes in with a home run. Willie Horton steps in. He's righty, playing the DH today. He hits a hanging curveball. And do we want to stretch it into a triple? Have a 90% chance of success. So uh, center field, Willie Davis has to, th he's got a 77 for arm. He's way out there. He's got to throw it 294 feet back in. So, yep, we're going to try and stretch that into a triple. And Willie Horton gets in to third base with a triple here. 2 outs. Let's see if Bill Freehand, righty, batting 290, can get that run across. And he hits one between first and second. Runs, trots in, and it's two to nothing, Tigers, here. Bottom of the first inning. Jim Palmer is pitching today for the Orioles. He's righty. He's got 18 pitches so far. 12 of them for strikes. You can kind of see up here the outcome, the speed, 
ball strikes, if they were in play, or if they were foul. That's a bouncer back to the pitcher. He's going to get thrown out at first. All right, Reggie Jackson here for the Orioles. Lefty batting 364. And looks like he got off the end of the bat, and that's a pop-up to third baseman for the out. That was probably Rodriguez on the catch there. Grounder over to Rodriguez and throws over to first for the out. So two outs. Doug DeCensis comes in and he hits one a long ways, but it's caught 341 feet, but another mm, 14 feet or so that would have been a home run. 341, it was about there. So 41, 51, 61, I'm sorry, about 24 feet. That would have been a home run. But nothing doing for the Orioles here in the second inning. Detroit comes up, and Alvaro Rodriguez batting 240 against righties. He grounds to second for the out. Mickey Stanley, we actually have a photo of Mickey here. He's batting 250. Ooh, that was drilled out to center field, but only 353 feet. If he had hit it over there, it would have been a home run, but pretty uh, deep ballpark in the middle. Gary Sutherland pops one to center. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Detroit. Still 2 nothing after 2. Elrod Hedricks batting 342. Got a hold of one, but that's going to be caught in right field. Willie Davis steps in, 284, lefty. He's down on strikes. Interesting, you see one and three. We don't know where two went, and this two is being covered up by three. Or two might have been, like, way off the plate. But three, three swings, three, three pitch out. So we'll take that. Back up the middle, and Mark Bellinger gets himself a single. Brings back up Bobby Grinch. And over to short and out at first. All right, Chuck Shervener. Shortstop, top of the lineup. Looks like he hits a lazy ground ball to third base for the out. That one got off the end of the bat. That's going to be caught in center field there, or right left field, I guess. Ogilvy, one for one in a home run today. Let's see if he can duplicate his feet. Nope. Second baseman has to make a good play. Tommy Harper, 194 hitter. He's grounded to short for the out. Lee May, first baseman. He's going to pop that up into a left field. Two outs. Reggie Jackson steps back in. He's, uh... Let's check out his stats here. 44... Uh, hits, 11 home runs, one third base, 10 second base uh, doubles. There we go. Couldn't think of the word there. He only played in 36 games here. All right, let's uh, pitch to him and see if we can get him out again. Nope, that's going to be a double probably. Oh, no, it was caught. Good catch in center field there. 
All right, we got uh, Willie Horton coming up. He's one for one today. And that's going to be a pop fly to right for the out. Bill Freehand is one for one with an RBI. Quick play over two outs. And a strikeout. All right, Jack Moore still pitching pretty good here. He's only got one strikeout, though. Three seventy one to deep center field, but that's an out. Doug Ducensis hits it between first and second for a single. Elrond Hendricks steps in. Oh, walked him. That's a first and second with only one out, boys. Come on. Oh, he got a bad pitch. Caught, and runners can't advance because it didn't go very far. Only 218 feet. All right, Mark Bellinger grounds it to first, and that should end the inning. It does, unless there's an error. So Jack Morris gets out of it. Jim Palmer steps in. Alvaro Rodriguez. And a ground ball to second for the out. Mickey Stanley, 0 for 1 today. Oh, he gets through shortstop, and that's going to be a single. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, well, well. All right, let's let him swing away. Mm hmm. 330 feet to center. Two outs. All right, Chuck Shivner, top of the order. Ah. He strikes out. 0 for 3 with a K today. All right, still 2 to nothing going in the sixth inning here. Bobby Gritch. Gritch? Gritch. G R I C H. Gritch. That's a high, high, high fly ball. Tommy Harper. 0 for, or I'm sorry, 1 for 2 today. Grounds out to third. May. Lee May. 0 for 2 today. And he's down on strikes. All right. Bottom of the six. We got Stab, Ogilvy, and Horton do up. Jim Palmer lets it go. And that's going to fall in. Do we want to stretch this out into a double here? He's going to throw 193 feet. His arm is a 67. We have a 62 speed. We have a 50% chance. We're going to say no. All right, we'll take our man on first. Ben Ogilvy makes contact. He's an 80 contact, 85 power. We just need to make contact. So let Ben Ogilvy get on it. He's already hit one home run. Let's see if he can... Oh, he connects down the first base line, running all the way home from first base. Run scores on the triple by Ogilvy. Good, good player. Let's check out Mr. Ogilvy. No, no, I don't want to. All right. Well, Willie Horton steps back in. Horton's one for two today. He can get an RBI with a base hit here. Hits it to second. And looks like we did score a run. So he does get the RBI. All right, one out. Uh, and down on strikes. Milt, Milt, May, Milt, May. Back up the middle for base hits. 
He's only got a 62 speed. Rodriguez here. 73 contact, 76 power. 67 on the eye. He does have a pretty good bunt, but two outs. We'll just let him swing. And he's hit wide one to deep, deep. Oh, no, wait. That is a home run. That just scores over the, right over the sign there. 425 feet. And Tigers put four runs here in this bottom of the sixth inning. Take a six to nothing lead. Stanley is one for two today. And that's going to be a pop fly to second for the out. All right. Let's see if Jack Morris can shut them down. And that's caught in center field for the out. I'm sorry, right field. Ken Singleton swings, pop fly. Second baseman catches it. And Doug Desensis. Well, he's hit one between short and third for base hits. Elrond Hendricks. Oh, swings at a bad pitch. That was inside. He swings at it anyways. And that is going to be ending over. Bottom of seven here. Ooh, that's a well hit, but right at the right fielder. Back up to the top of the lineup. 0 for 3 today with the strikeout. Looks like the shortstop made a good play there. Two outs. Back to the pitcher. Swing at a bad pitch there. Up out of the zone. All right. Top of 8. We're going to keep Morris in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And that one's gone. That one's gone, gone, gone as Davis hits himself a home run. Puts the Orioles on the board here. That's another well-hit ball, but 336 feet for a fly out. Bobby Gritch strikes out. Sammy Harper, left fielder here. Oh, and they're swinging at really bad pitches. Look at that. That was way out of the zone. And uh, they get a run on a home run by Davis, the center fielder. But still 6-1 to one here, bottom of 8. Ben Ogilvy looks like a hard hit back to the, bat, uh, back to the pitcher. Willie Horton. Strikes out, and Bill Freeman, oh, he launches one into right field, and that's going to fall in for a single. Wilt May, let's see if he can get a base hit. Oh, he hits one back up the middle. We got first and second, two outs. Uh, Alario Rodriguez, Alario, Alario, Alario. Oh, it caught him with an inside pitch. Inning over. All right, so that's three outs coming up. They got May, Jackson, and Singleton. That's off the end of the bat, and that's a pop fly. Reggie Jackson steps in. He's uh, one for three today. Hmm. Wonder if we want to just walk him. Well, six to one, no sense in putting him on base. Oh, he struck him out. Jack Morris is tired, but he only needs one more out. Come on, Jack. Toughen up. And that was a crazy pitch. Did you see that? That was like way up out of the zone. He still swung at it and hit it. But the Detroit Tigers defeated the Baltimore Orioles 6-1 to today. Let's look at our lineup. Actually, we took the previous game 5-4. to 
uh, bring this over so we can check out the stat line here in the window. So there we go. If you want to look at the stat lines here, obviously Tigers got off to a good start there in the bottom of the first, and then the sixth inning really did a lot of damage. Uh, is there any more to this box? Doesn't look like it. And uh, Jim Palmer, uh, I'm sorry, Jack Morris pitches a full, complete nine innings, gives up just hit six hits. One base of balls, one home run, an ERA of 4.68. Um, so we had uh, 0 for 4, 1 for 4, 2 for 4, 1 for 4, 2 for 4, 2 for 4, 1 for 4, 1 for 3, and 0 for 3. As Detroit pulls it out today. Detroit goes to 14 and 22, so not having a very good season here, 1976, and Baltimore falls to 20 and 16. Let's look at the standings here. You can see Detroit's down on the bottom end of the East there. Baltimore sitting up second to the Yankees. Uh, but Detroit's actually won two games here, just four and six, averaging 259, 35 home runs. That's a little bit more than average, actually. So, in an ERA of 4.75, which is a little bit more than average as well. Well, that's a look at the 1976 Detroit Tigers game between Detroit Tigers and the Baltimore Orioles. In Baseball Mogul 2016, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and comments in the um, comments section below, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.